What's going on Reef Builders? I'm Jake Adams and we're so excited to be at Reefstock Denver once again. We've had such an amazing time yesterday. It was absolutely a zoo, but we are gonna carve out some time today to walk around some of the booths and show you some of the outstanding corals and products that are making their debut at Reefstock Denver. So we don't have all the time in the world to show you everything in as much detail as we would like. Um, but I'm gonna show you some of the more standout products that we saw here at Reefstock so far. It's so great to have a lot of awesome sponsors supporting the show. Reef Nutrition was one of the like founding uh, sponsors of Reefstock more than 10 years ago. So it's awesome to see them still participating in the show. We got Julian Sprung, Two Little Fishies, always showing off a whole bunch of accessories and fun gear. We use salt, accuracy salt, accurate, uh, exclusively in the studio. Uh, Carib Sea, you know, they used to be really known just for their substrate, for their gravel and stuff like that. But in recent years, they've really made a big push into more of the aquascaping material. And uh, no stranger to the reef shows. We got Fritz over here with all their salt and all their additives. Always makes their little Game of Thrones style uh, salt box. For the first time ever, you know, we're really promoting reef therapy. It's been one of the most awesome breakout hits of content that we've ever done. Uh, if you haven't heard about reef therapy, definitely give it a listen on your favorite podcast or on YouTube. Now let me show you a few more booths. Over here we have the ICP analysis Coral View booth. So this is a uh, test kit that you can buy at your local fish store that will actually get you mass spec level precision on your additives. And uh, Coral View is the distributor for max spec. So back there in the corner, you can see what's gonna be one of the best new skimmers ever, the max spec jump SK800, which uh, we've already done a video about uh, at the Reef Builder Studio. Another thing you've seen at Reef Shows popping up for quite a while, Coral View's put a lot of work into the Hydros controller platform. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy to develop something like this. And one of the standout features of the Hydros is a kind of a distributed networking. So instead of having one central node that reaches out to everything, a lot of their different products will work independently of each other, very user friendly. And uh, it's really nice to see them flesh it out with a lot of different accessories. One company that's always super nice to see at any Reef Show is Ecotech Marine and their sister brand aqua illumination because you know we all love the vortex pumps the hydras the radions and this is always a swanky booth and a nice place to ask the company specific questions about how to use their products and uh, what's best for your aquarium over here we have brightwell aquatics this is the additive uh, sponsor for the reef builder studio so we use all of this stuff very extensively i think that's going to be a lot of the gear so now let's take a walk down the aisle and uh, see what kind of corals we can find all right so one coral that i picked up recently is this one over here Basically, but there's a very fun Scalemia vicensis that I really love. It's kind of blue gray with a little bit of green streak. So I'm going to come back around later, pick that guy up. This is at the uh, 7F Reef booth. We don't have to walk too far to find another booth that I found some awesome corals at. We're at Aquastics. And uh, you know, you've seen a lot of acanthos really popping on the market lately, but I fell in love with this one right here. Just, it's not quite as bold as some of the others, but I'm a sucker for that orange coloration. So I got a nice fair shake on it. We're gonna take it back to the studio a little bit later. And over here, we have the return of Neptune Systems joining us for Reefstock. They are no stranger to the event. It is a great place to get a look at the Neptune sky, which we absolutely love on our Euphelia Aquarium. And here you can see kind of a demonstration center of three skies lighting up a six foot reef tank with a lot of the bells and whistles that help to streamline the experience of owning a reef aquarium. So these guys always put together a really, really great booth. Over here, we kind of got our, our northern coast uh, aquarium shop, Bigs Lagoon. Um, they got a lot of affordable frags here and some really shiny colonies. What's really uh, advantageous for the local companies is they sold out a bunch of corals and brought a bunch more. So even if you miss the first day, a lot of these guys have reserves.
One of the breakaway product hits to be homegrown here in the Colorado area is uh, Hydrospace. You may have heard of their purple non-sulfur bacteria that a lot of folks are using for a, a form of uh, microbial re remediation, but it's also a very important source of food. Um, Ken says there's some really fancy stuff in the bottles of PNS Yellow. I don't know all the stuff, but we're gonna have him at the studio here soon to talk a little bit more about the differences between the purple and the yellow. But one of the things that he's showing off, which I think is really bold for a company, is a PNS Home Grow. So he's actually gonna teach people how to grow it themselves in addition to learning more about the different products that you can use in your tank. It's so nice to see Seachem, you know, really engaging with the saltwater aquarium side of the community. And uh, Top Shelf Aquatics always classes up the joint with their displays, with their energy, and especially with their corals. Huge variety of frags, great displays, got some anemones, lots of sticks, even some small starter colonies. And over here, Coral Vault is always showing off some of the most uh, bougie LPS corals, such as acanthophilias, cinerinas, and a lot of LPS and frags across the way. So there's far too many coral vendors here to tell you about every single booth, but we definitely want to give a shout out to some of our local companies, such as Animal Attractions, Altitude Corals. Over here, we got Reef Design. We actually got a nice branching bubble coral from him. Um, this is uh, King of Aquariums right here. He brought out a lot of dry goods, kind of a newer shop. And uh, on this side, we have knockout corals, lots of frags. I'm coming back for a few acros from these guys. And then the King's Corals has a special little section of some cute zoanthids. So we're incredibly proud to have companies like Red Sea participate in Reefstock. By far, by far one of the biggest attractions of the show has been the brand new Red Sea Reef Met. I will uh, confess that I haven't had any time to get a feel for it, but this unit is coming back to the studio where we're gonna get hands all over it, take it all apart, figure out how it works, and I'm sure that video is gonna be forthcoming here soon. Um, I love Saltwater Aquarium. These guys are one of the vendors that bring goods to sale. So you know a lot of times there's companies, manufacturers that are showing things off. Well, they're usually they're not selling because they're a manufacturer. So this is where Saltwater Aquarium comes in, kind of helps to fill that gap for the nice toys that you see in some of the manufacturer boots. The Fish Crew is a really awesome kind of store. These guys are up in Fort Collins, but they do it all. And they're, it's like the most aquarium store, aquarium store that there is. I love how they bring out betas, they bring out some plants, they bring out some corals, a little bit of everything. And CJ has definitely made a very eye-catching display here with their flow bead aquarium demonstration. We're about halfway through the aisles here. So excited to see Hannah participate in reef stock. These are the test kits that we rely on for calcium, alkalinity, nitrates, and phosphate. Really important. We've got epic aquaculture, stick corals, gingerbread, and one of the classicest of all coral vendors here. We've got Brandon with zoanthus.com. He always kind of peppers his tank with a few really bright colonies to bring people in. And then he's got a lot of frags to keep him uh, looking at the frags. But one thing that you'll notice about his booth, it's unchanged since about 1953. He's got a, a stack of AI soles, and the beauty about it is they still work. The corals look amazing. Every aquarium show, every store, every club is built off a principle of community, and with that, we're extremely grateful to have the support of Reef to Reef to help come to the event, talk to their users, talk to uh, you know everybody that loves reefing, and uh, helps to share that information. I've got my old friend Bill Davis over here with Eye Candy Corals with his friend Reef Donkey. These guys have some great encrusting pieces. And if you've ever been to a reef show, you'll be familiar with the frost setup. I don't know how these guys come up with so many corals to sell at multiple reef shows uh, throughout the year. Unlimited Color Corals always brings a really awesome range of different corals. I'm always tempted by some of the stuff that they have. I'm gonna be picking them up at the end of the show. But one of the more new exciting products that we've seen here is a brand new 
carbon doser. If you're familiar with this device, it actually meters out carbon dioxide. They've actually partnered up with Tunzi for the manufacture of this device. So it's more rugged, it's much quieter, and now it's adapted to work uh, natively with a Tunzi regulator. I'm always surprised at how many companies are actually based in Colorado. Over here, we got Reef Delight showing off their Nicobar LED strip lights. These have lenses to help push down in your tank. They come with a bunch of different colors, so you can you know, fine tune the spectrum for your aquarium. And then Kessel needs no introduction. They generously provided some really awesome products for the raffle, but definitely one of the biggest talks of the show is the brand new two meter Kate Aquarium. For those of you that uh, don't do metric, that six foot 10, all in one aquarium. Got the sump underneath, you've seen the videos, and it's really exciting to have them show off this tank here at Reefstock for the first time. Speaking of Colorado-based companies, we've got a brand new one here launching at Reefstock. It's a Rocky Mountain fish filter company, and I didn't know what to make of it when I first heard what they were doing, but basically, they're bringing in, they're making these kind of adaptations from uh, irrigation sprinkler systems, and it uses a series of discs as mechanical filtration. So when it's tight, it filters the water, and when you open it up, you can basically hose it down and clean up all the space behind the disc. So this is intended to be kind of a mechanical filter replacement for filter socks and other drop-in solutions. We can't wait to try it out. I'm very proud that they're from Colorado. A Reef Aquarium Conference would not be the same without a really fancy raffle. We're incredibly grateful to all the companies who have provided products that our attendees can win for just a dollar per ticket. And I just wanna thank everybody for watching this video, everybody who came to Reefstock, everybody who helped us with Reefstock, and all of our vendors, sponsors, and exhibitors. So I hope I've shown you just a kind of a small glimpse of what Reefstock Denver is all about. Uh, we still have one more day to go here in Denver, but we're already looking forward to next year. So if you want more information about this event, make sure to go to reefstock.show. Uh, we have a really good time, very reef-focused show, but we welcome all. So I wanna thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in Denver next year.